new here, welcome. My name is Danielle and today we're going to be talking about my reading goals for the last three months of the year. Um, I, I have just recently gotten back into reading and I honestly have been like super into it. So right for right now, I definitely want to start making booktube videos again. So I didn't want to have to have, there's a Jenny. <laughs> I didn't want to have to have um, two separate channels for it. I did in the past and honestly it was just hard to keep up with both. So I'm just bringing my book stuff into my lifestyle stuff. So once a week we will get a book video and once a week you'll get a lifestyle slash vlog or something like that. So yeah, so that's where we're at. So I kind of want to talk about what my plans are for the rest of this year. Uh, I know that we're, by the time you guys see this, it will be like halfway through October. So for the last like two and a half months, I kind of just want to focus on a few things. And then at the beginning of the year, I will, uh, <laughs> I will, maybe Ginny's going to make an appearance on every video. I don't know. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I'll kind of write down what I want, what my expectations for myself and my goals are for my reading journey for 2023. But I kind of want to just chit chat a little bit about what I've been doing um, for the past couple weeks and what I want to continue doing through the end of this year. So my number one and biggest goal that I want is to start kind of hacking down my TBR. I have always been a person, I used to, I used to, I shouldn't say always, I used to be the type of person where I loved physically having a lot of books. Like I just loved collecting books. And I, my TBR at one point, I think I had like, like in my library, I think I had like 400 books not read that I owned. And then it got really overwhelming because there's, I was like, there's no way I'm going to get through these and there's still new stuff coming out. So I finally did a ton of unhauling over the past couple of years. And now, I don't know, I feel like as long as I can consume the book, if that's by physically buying it or renting it from the library or getting an ebook, like I just want to consume the story. So I did right before, like a few, uh, actually it's probably been a couple months now. I was going to say a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, I unhauled, I went through all my shelves and I unhauled so many books, probably like 75 to a hundred probably. And I took them to Hash Price Books. It was disgusting the amount of money that they gave me. I think it was like $30. It like wasn't even, it didn't even equate to like a dollar per book. And I'm like, cool, you guys are gonna sell all these books for a few dollars a piece. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox. I just needed them out of my house. I did try to give them away first. And most of the titles I was getting rid of were older titles. So most people weren't interested. So I did my due diligence and then just sold them all half price books. But in the future, I don't know, maybe I'll start a Depop. Maybe I'll, I don't know, but now I'm getting off, off of a tangent. So a few days ago, I went through my, all of my shelves, my entire library that I have. And I, cataloged all the books. If I've read it, if I want to read it, um, there are books on in my library that I will never read. Um, for example, this zombie, uh, it's called zombie. Um, it's a series by Darren Chan. I read the Cirque du Freak series by Darren Chan and I really liked it, but zombies are just not my thing. But I bought these books for Heather for one of for their birthday or Christmas one year or something because they really enjoy Darren Chan and they loved the Cirque du Freak series. So I was like, oh cool, I'll just get them this. So like it's in my library, but I don't ever have any intentions of reading it. So I kind of categorized things depending on what I read, what I want to read, what's just in my library, but I have no interest in whatsoever, but we're keeping it because it's not mine to get rid of. So I have 120 books on my TBR right now that I really want to read. So for the next two and a half months, my goal is to just 
read as many of these books as I possibly can. Obviously with enjoying them, like I'm not trying to like force myself to read them for no reason, but you know, just to like get my TBR down. So through the end of the year, I'm not planning on buying any books. Um, I did pre-order one that actually comes in next week. So technically my TBR is 121. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I definitely just want to like get my TBR down. I feel like I'm finally at a place where like I'm comfortable with the books that are unread right now. And these unread books also include like middle grade and um, graphic novels and stuff like that. So some of these I can like tick down pretty fast. Yeah, so I'm like just like chilling on these bookshelves like, hey, it's been okay. I'm just gonna sidebar for a moment. It's been a really, really long day for me. At my job, I am a manager, and one of the thi one of the one of the pieces of my job is to make sure that my stock room stays clean and organized and all that stuff. And lately, so we were dealing with all the shipping issues and uh, supply chain stuff as everybody else was and we're finally starting to get product back in but I have no room for it so it's been like really hard on my body like every day trying to like figure out where to move stuff and all that so yeah I just I've had a long day and my back hurts so if I'm leaning that's why so that was my sidebar I'm dying a little inside but it's fine to recap my first goal <laughs> is to just get my TBR down and try not to buy any books uh, my birthday is in January, so I'm like debating if I get my TBR down to a certain number, if like that should be the indicator of like I can like go and like buy a few books. Like I'm not saying go crazy, can't do that, but you know just kind of go in with maybe a little bit of a higher budget than I normally would just to kind of treat myself because I'm still kind of like slogging through some like older books because I went on like when I first started book or when I first found booktube I just bought every book that people recommended I I didn't care if I was interested or not I would buy it because I was like oh I'm gonna be cool like these people and I'm gonna own this book and read it so I'm still slogging through some of those old backlist books and then I do have some more recent releases, thank God. So yeah, I'm trying to like mix it up as much as possible and starting to be okay with DNFing things and getting rid of it if it just doesn't suit me because I don't physically need the book if I don't even like it. So yeah, so that's number one. I did not expect to talk for 10 minutes about the, uh, the first goal. Okay. Number two, so this is something that I'm trying to start doing and I've done it for the past couple nights and it's been working really well. What I've been doing nightly is I'm reading for at least 30 minutes before bed. This is going into a nighttime routine that I've started and that is going to be a, another video coming up in November I believe, but I'm trying really hard to not use any electronics whilst I'm in bed. So my phone, my iPad, all that stuff goes away. I like, I set my alarm. So the last thing I do is I set my alarm for the morning and I do that before I'm laying in bed. I'm literally standing next to my bed. I do that. I put it on the charger and then once I'm in bed, I can only like read. So it's been working out really well and yeah, just like reading 30 minutes and normally I end up reading for like an hour, hour and a half, just depending. But just to kind of kickstart off that, the 30 minutes is like a perfect like that's usually when I get like roll into it and then I like keep reading. So another thing that I'm going to be doing, which I'm really excited about and hence why I wanted to kind of start putting book stuff on this channel as well, is I want to do some reading challenges. I already have a few in my head on what I want to do. So stay tuned for those. I'm not going to spoil any of them, but it's none of the ideas are original. So I mean, I'm definitely taking stuff from other like creators but I'm really excited and they will definitely help me get my TBR down 
and at least get my hands on some books that I haven't like even thought about picking up. So I'm really excited about that. So like I said, stay tuned. Number four, sorry if I probably did a jump cut and now I'm sitting differently. My back is killing me. So I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> Fourth goal that I have th to pursue or do. I don't even know what I'm trying to say at this point. Uh, so something I want to start doing <laughs> starting now is actually writing reviews for the books I read because I feel like I will read a book and it has nothing to do with the book. Like it could even be a book five out of five stars favorite book of the year whatever and you could ask me about it like three months later and I will barely remember what happens so I kind of want to start writing reviews for myself just so I can like remind myself like oh I really like this so they will definitely be spoilery because I feel like that would be the only way I could like keep nuggets of information about what happened and like why I loved it or why I hated it or why it was just okay so but I also plan on doing like mini, Jenny's back. Um, I also plan on doing like mini reviews on Instagram, like on my story. So I'm probably gonna like create a highlight or something like that and start putting my reviews there. And then it'll help me keep track of my, all my reading for each year. And the last thing, and this is something that I'll probably try harder to do in 2023 more than now just because, okay, bye. Uh, just because I do want to get my TBR down as much as possible and that is to use my library more. I think that it, you know, libraries are super important and I want to do my part in like utilizing them in any way I can. So yeah, so I definitely want to start using the library more. I do use my library app for uh, audiobooks because I refuse to pay for audiobooks. <laughs> Just because it's like, I love audiobooks, but I don't know. I, I do, so, okay, I do have Scribd. So, and like, in my mind, like, that's okay because I understand that they're like, it says unlimited, but they're limited. I get it. But I don't know. Just to the point of if my library doesn't have it, sometimes Scribd has it. So then, like, and at least, like, that's only $10 a month. Whereas like Audible is like what, like 14 and you only get one credit a month. Like that to me seems silly. If you do it and you love it, that's great. But for me, like, I don't, I don't know. I would just rather like get it for free if I can. <laughs> or from the one app that I use that's only $10 a month. I'm off my pedestal. However you like to consume your reading, I support you. It's just Audible and services like that are not for me. So anyway those are my goals for the rest of 2022 i am really happy and like i feel so good that i'm like back on my reading game because i didn't realize how much i missed it until i started reading again but i don't know it just helps me like i don't know just like feel more calm um, and I've noticed I've been getting like less headaches because I'm not on my phone a hundred hours a day and stuff. So yeah, for a while I was like really addicted to my phone and it had times with my anxiety and that's just, just a whole nother story. But yeah, I'm glad I can, I can, you know, remove my brain from reality with books now instead of TikTok. So yeah. Let me know if there are any goals. I know that like even if you started them at the beginning of this year, are there any goals that you're continuing to do right now? Are there new goals that you want to start doing just to kind of kick off the rest of the year just to kind of maybe get more reading done or maybe schedule some time out of your day? Like please let me know. I want to talk all the books, all the book things with you and you will see another book video from me next Friday and another lifestyle video from me on Wednesday. So I will see you all next week for two new videos. And yeah, just remember, you the best, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.